Good evening, citizens of Earth. 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 I, I know it's burning, my dear friends and colleagues, but yeah, this side. Um, good evening, everyone. I'm so honored to be in the presence of Uncle Kathy and uh, George Bezos. Um, actually, if possible, I'd love for one of them um, to answer this question. Otherwise, the Deputy Minister or uh, Yasmin can, can answer it. I think that, uh, figuratively speaking, the presence of this previous generation of leaders um, represents the changing of the guards or the handing over of the baton, which is today's struggle, our struggle. You know, they, they, their generation identified their struggle, which was apartheid. They rallied together to achieve it, and they achieved a constitutional democracy, which leads us, leads us unfortunately, or oh, I don't know, ironically, to our own struggle, my generation struggle, which is a consolidation of democracy. In other words, inequality, poverty, unemployment. So as active citizens of the last generation, I would like for them um, to answer this question. What does active citizenship actually mean? Especially for the person that falls uh, between the cracks of this, this, uh, the democratic processes that we've so neatly formed, what does it mean? And what can we take home with us today and actually, and actually actively do every day to try and, and, and achieve you know, the goals of the, of the NDP? Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. I mean, I think that's a burning issue and it's been discussed here a lot. And perhaps it's uh, one idea to have a specific um, discussion on it. But I mean, it goes to the issue of the social compact that the NDP is trying to create. So I think it's very relevant to our discussion. Advocate Bezos, your comment, please. Yes. You'll permit me to remind the audience that our Constitution took from 1990 to 1994 to be written. We went right across the country discussing with people what sort of Constitution do they, do they want. They gave us instructions there were 22 parties involved in CODESA. They had ideas as to what constitution we want. We praise it as one of the best constitution in the world, not only ourselves, but our guests. And I hear an expression of an opinion here or in the form of a question, let's have direct democracy. I think that we must look at instances of direct democracy. Germany got a 92% vote in favor of Germany going against Czechoslovakia. We got almost 100% German referendum that authorized Hitler to take over Austria. We have people here who say, bring back the death penalty. D The demilitarized police under the presidency of Mr. Mandela was wrong. Remilitarize the police force. Criminals are, have more rights than peace-loving people. Yes, it may sound good or, or attractive. But who decides other than a proper judiciary guaranteed by the uh, Constitution uh, that really would protect not only 
some, but the statement of uh, Chief Justice uh, Chaskelson that the Constitution protects even the worst among us. Hear, hear. So please, don't let's seek panaceas by amending the Constitution. Let us respect it, let us obey it, and don't let groups of people who have interests. There are people who say, do away with Section 25 of the Constitution. We want a, a willing seller and a willing buyer. They don't look at Section 25, which actually sets out no less than six factors that have to be taken into consideration that it may well be not in the interests of the country to have a willing seller only. There are people who say that we want a fourth tier of government. A particular party, the IFP, wanted a different type of government. They actually drew a constitution which had to comply with our constitution as certified as democratic by the 12 judges of the Constitutional uh, Court. The IFP failed by a unanimous judgment of uh, 12 judges who found no less than 42 instances of the proposed constitution that those who wanted a sort of fourth tier government. And it was said during the argument that the 42 uh, instances were not exhaustive. There were other grounds. <laughs> There were other grounds why this was. Please, let us respect the Constitution and not condemn it or find faults with which history has taught us are grievous faults and we should not suffer them. I'm sorry, but I can't avoid it. I mean Thank you, Advocate Bezos, for, for that reminder. I mean, I think there's a frustration in South Africa in search for accountability. People are seeking to go beyond, you know, what our Constitution has already um, taken us through. You know, they lay the answers, and I think um, we already have the answers, and I think that's what you're saying uh, from what the Constitution has already said. <laughs>